we are in Indianapolis. This is Raymond Street. Raymond Street and the 65 North. We are just northeast, just northeast of Indianapolis City Center. Well, probably about six miles, six to eight miles. Randolph Street Via Via Avenue right here Did you guys see that pink house? Harlan Street Still traveling, traveling on Raymond You know, we're not quite north, actually. We're pretty much dead even to the east of Indy, old Indy. Driving a 2023 Kenworth T680 with an MX-13 engine and a 12-speed automated manual transmission. So it's an automatic. It's, it's automatically shifted by the air solenoids and the computer activated uh, motors and actuators. It's a fancy robotically controlled manual transmission.
We sure have an epidemic in America of people not using their blinkers. I mean, it is an epidemic of massive proportion. You know, people, people don't communicate properly anymore. You know, growing up on, on a tablet or a phone has stunted the ability for people to effectively communicate. And it's translated all the way down to using your blinker. I mean, because what is, you, you, what is using your blinker? Using your blinker is effective communication on the roadway. Letting people know your intentions and where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do. I mean, communication in all aspects of our life is just complete garbage now. So why would it be any different on the roadway, right? You guys know Jay Cutler? Jay Cutler, the bodybuilder, he's got a, he's got a, a channel, right? And every week he does a walk and talk. He calls it Jaywalk. Ha, I think it's funny because his first name is Jay, right? But uh, instead of a walk and talk, maybe I'll do a drive and talk once a week. What do you guys think? So on this load, I left Phoenix and I've got, it's a two stopper. T tonight I stop in Indianapolis and I drop the first part of the load and then and then tomorrow I got to drop the second half of the load in New York, upstate New York. You can tell nobody respects the the school zone signs, huh? The school zone speed limit. Nobody, nobody cares out here. Now, usually, usually I never see people speeding in a school zone, but hey, I guess there's a first for everything, right? We got a few more minutes till I reach my destination, so just enjoy the ride. Sorry, it's not a more exciting drive through the city, you know? We're just kind of on the outskirts. Here's Emerson Avenue, Raymond Street and Emerson Avenue.
never made this light. I'm not sure why I thought I was gonna make it today. <laughs> We are going to deliver at Americold. Americold Logistics. They usually have me in and out in under two hours. Pretty much every single time they have me in and out in under two hours so yeah I know a lot of people usually have a problem with Americold and they, they have a problem with lineage I do go to a lineage down in Atlanta to pick up and they usually take five or six hours You know, they're hit or miss, man. They, they all can't get you in and out in under two hours. I know in a perfect world, we all think we're entitled to that, but no. You just, you know, a lot of the frustration in trucking is not knowing how long it's gonna take. If I know it's gonna take five, six, seven hours to load or unload, I just prepare to go to sleep. I prepare to take a nap, I prepare to eat, I prepare to work out, you know? All right, I'm about to roll up into this facility, so that's all she wrote on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like stuff like this. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the ride. And let me know, let me know, should I do a drive and talk once a week or no?